Hello again guys. I'm going to do another example and this example is a little bit nicer for saying something than the other ones that, that we saw. Let's start by drawing uh, the problem. As you can see this is not from any book so let's see what is going to happen here. I did this problem in class and we created in class with the students so this is going to be a pin support and then I'm going to have a load in this direction and the load comes pointing up then we have a reaction a reaction no a concentrated force of one kilonewton and a concentrated moment also at that point of 15 kilonewton meter and the value of this triangular load is 5 kilonewton per meter and then we have a rectangular load acting on the bottom part and then we have a pin support a roller support in the top part this force is acting upward also the value is 2 kilonewton meter and then the distances are 1 meter 2 meters 2 meters 2 meters and 1 meter okay I think that's all that I have so let's start this puppy here the first thing that we have to do as always is place the reactions uh, I know because this is going up like that the reaction is gonna be acting down and this reaction uh, because this is like that this reaction is also gonna be coming acting down but it doesn't matter you can put it in any way that you want to put it that at the end the sign is gonna tell you if you did it correctly or you did it correctly so let's put letters to this. I'm going to say this is uh, A and B. And then you're going to put here C, D, E, and F. And we're going to do a summation of moments in order to calculate, first of all, the reactions. This is going to be then AY, and this is going to be BY. Okay, summation of moments. Summation of moments where? Summation of moments at A, but before I'm going to convert this into uh, concentrated forces only for the sake of calculating the reactions. This is a force that is going to be 5 times 3 divided by 2, so the force is going to be 7.5, and the location is going to be 2 thirds from this angle. 2 thirds from this angle, meaning the force is going to be here. And it's going to be 5 times 3 divided by 2, and the distance is 2 because it's two-thirds of three. This is 7.5. This other force is going to be two times three, which is uh, six, and it's going to be located at the center, somewhere here. It's going to be two times three equals six, and this distance is going to be half of the base, meaning 1.5. Okay, now we can do our summation of moments. So we can say summation of moments at A, equals zero. You know, I have seen uh, a lot of people doing this and then they say, oh, look, if I have to do moment in this side, then I have to decompose this in a rectangular part and a triangular part and this triangular part multiplied by this and this rectangular multiplied by this and then this multiplied by this. But you know something, if I have this force here and the total, the resultant is going to be falling on top of A, that means that this is not going to be producing moment with respect to the point A for the sake of reaction. So I don't take this into account for anything. I'm going to start with this part though. This part is going to be then, if I say that this is the positive direction, then this is going to be negative 1 times 2, negative 15. Negative 1 times 2, negative 15 in this direction. Then I'm going to have 2 times 3, which is 6. I say positive because it's rotating like that. 2 plus 2 plus 1.5. 2 
plus 2 plus 1.5 and then this one is going to be negative by multiplied by 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 0 and then you can solve for by and by is going to be 2.6 periodic kilonewton and then we do summation of forces in y equals 0 and then we now we have to include it because we are doing summation of forces in y so we have then what? We have 7.5 minus 1 minus AY plus 6 minus 2.6 periodic equals 0. And from here I solve for AY and AY is going to be 9.83 with the 3 periodic. Immediately, what should we do? Try it. Verify the reactions. Verify. Verify the reactions. How do we verify the reaction? Well, we can do summation of moments, for example, at F or, for example, at E, that you don't eliminate anything. I'm going to do summation of moments at E equals 0. And if I do that, then I start from here. 7.5 times 2 plus 2. 4 and that's negative and then I have AY positive times 4 and then I have positive 1 times 2 remember I'm doing moment with respect to this point negative 15 positive 6 times 1.5 negative by times 2 equals 0 and then you put this ay value here and this by value there and then you get that 0 is 0 and those are the correct values for the reaction so our reactions are correct and we can start our process and in order for start our process we're gonna start like always do we start from the first point and we say, okay, let's mark first the, the lines that we're using for the doing the summation or do, doing the diagram. And the lines, remember, there's always one line at the beginning and one line at the end. And then we have to place one line in every single one of the internal supports if we have supports. And then we have to put a line wherever I have concentrated loads or moments. And then I have to put lines where a load begins or a load ends. There you go. And here we will be using this for drawing our shear. And we, we will be using this for drawing our moment. And the shear is going to be in kilonewton and the moment is going to be in kilonewton meter. There you go. So we start from the beginning, and the beginning is the same basically. We start from this point in CA, and we say, I don't have any concentrated force acting here, I don't have any concentrated moment acting there. That means that my two diagrams are going to start from zero. Now I can go a little bit, you know, faster because at this moment you should know a little bit more about what we are doing. So I'm going to call this a hybrid model because or a hybrid method because we are using areas and we're using integrals. Now, look at this shape. If you have this type of trapezoidal shape, uh, my advice to you and it's honest advice is you either go with sections if you are a fanatic of sections, which I don't like, but if you want to do it, do it, or definitely you go with integrals. If you want to do it with areas, most definitely you're going to have it wrong. So let's do whatever you have, a trapezoidal section, do it by using integrals. So if, we use, if you use integrals for solving this shape, basically what you have to find is the equation of that uh, for CA. You have to say that V is the integral of a load dx plus CV. And this CV, remember, is the a value of the shear at the beginning of the span so I mean at CA and is measured from the diagram so this CV is 0 
for the first part because there's no, nothing there. And the equation of this line is just the equation of that straight line, of that load, which is this is 5 and this is 3. Yes, that's 5 and that's 3. And this is y equal mx plus b. y equal b is 5 and m is negative because this is a negative slope, negative 5 thirds of x. So that's our equation. So we're going to take our integral of this dx, which is the same thing as saying that b is going to be equal to 5x minus 5x squared divided by 2 times 3 is 6. And then we can do for v of 0, I will be here. But remember, I have to go from line to line. I can't go up to here, even though it's the same load. I have to go up to this point because I have a support there. So I'm going to do it for V of 1. And when I do that, it's going to be 5 times 1 minus 5 times 1 squared divided by 6. Or V of 1 equals 4.16 with the 6 periodic. There you go. That means that from here, this value is going to be positive. 4.16 somewhere here let's put it there 4.16 now this shape is a parabola and it's a negative parabola so why is an, it's a frowning face because this is negative here this coefficient or you can say oh wait a second let's use the circle for this because this is a hybrid model right Please don't neglect infants, neglect dumb people instead. And this is what? This is positive because it's floated about, I mean this. This is positive because the arrows are pointing up, but at the same time the area is decreasing. So it's positive decreasing, and positive decreasing is this, which is the shape that we guess or we assume because of the negative coefficient of the parabola. Okay, now we do the moment. Why I'm going to do the moment? Well. I want to take them in parallel now because I have the two equations closed. So I'm going to do the moment. And the moment is going to be the integral of the shear plus CM. And that CM, as I said before, is the value of the moment at the beginning of CA, meaning it's going to be this value, meaning it's zero for this problem. Zero. So my moment is the integral of this, because this is the shear, 5x minus 5x squared divided by 6. Or my moment is 5x squared divided by 2 minus 5x to the third divided by 18. This is my equation for the moment. And then I can say it, moment of, if I want to, I can say moment of, uh, let me see. No, I have to, moment of 1 here because it's the end. So I'm going to say moment of 1 is 5 times 1 squared divided by 2 minus 5 times 1 to the third divided by 18 a moment at 1 x equal 1 is 2.2 periodic kilonewton meter so this value here is going to be 2.2 periodic. Now, shapes. Okay. The shape of the shear is this. The shape of shear, remember, it's going to give me the moment. So, the shape of shear is this. That is positive, and this is increasing. Positive increasing. Positive increasing is this shape here. Positive increasing, like that. That means that I have to join these two points with that shape from here to there. Now look, if you do this by areas, then you're going to have 4.16 times 1 times 2 thirds. And that's going to be 2.7 or 2.8. It's not going to be 2.2. And the reason for that is because even though this is a, a parabola, because it is a parabola, 
this parabola comes from the integration of a trapezoid, not from the integration of a triangle, because it's a trapezoid. So basically, it will be like a straight line in some part and the parabola on top, because from this rectangle comes a straight line, and from this triangle comes a parabola. So you have to do it separately and add it. That's what I'm saying. Do not do it like that if you have a trapezoid. Just apply integrals. Okay, now we finish that part. What do we do now? We go to the point D. Uh, the point A, we haven't done anything in the point A yet, so we go to the point A. So go to the point A. If we go to the point A, let me look for the point A here. Point A. Point A, then I have, in the shear, a value of 4.16. And then my reaction is coming down, and my reaction AY is uh, 9.83. 9.83 in this direction. And that is going to give me a value of negative 5.6 kilonewton. So at the same point, this is going to come up to a value of 5.6, negative 5.6 periodic. I'm sorry, I wasn't showing this. From this value, it's going to come down up to a value of negative 5.6. Okay. Moment. What happened with the moment? Well, the moment at this point, there's no concentrated moment, no change. There you go. Now we go to the other part, and the other part is AD. And we go AD for the shear. And you're gonna say, oh, but this is the same equation. No, it's not, because the y-intercept in this part is this, and the y-intercept in this part is this, so it's not the same one. So I have to calculate that y-intercept. Can you do that? Yes, you can, hopefully. This is five. This is the y-intercept that I'm looking for. This distance here is one, this distance here is two. This is the point that I'm looking for, because this is this part here. This is A, this is C, and this is D. The slope is the same. The y-intercept is the difference. So how do we calculate the y-intercept here? We can say 5 is up to 3, as y is up to 2, and then y is equal to 3.3 .3 when you solve. Because this is going to be a... 10 thirds, and 10 thirds is that. So my equation is going to be y equal 3.3 .3 minus, the slope is the same, 5 thirds of x. That's the equation for that part. And this is what I have to do the integration of that. So if I do the integral, then the integral is going to be uh, the integral of this. minus 5.6, which is my constant or my value at the beginning of this plan. But you know something? If I don't want to do integrals and I can want to continue by doing areas, I can do that. Why? Because now this is a triangle and we can continue with that triangle. If I continue that by areas and I say, oh, I want to do ID by areas because for me it's easier. So then I'm going to say, well, this value is negative 5.6 and I have a triangle here which is 3.3 .3 periodic, and this is 2 here, and this is a positive area, so negative 5.6 plus 3.3 .3 times 2 divided by 2, that's 2.3 periodic, negative 2.3. That means the value here is going to be negative 2.3. Periodic. And this is what? Positive, and the area is decreasing. Well, positive decreasing once again. I'm going to keep saying this until you learn it. Please don't neglect infants, neglect dumb people instead. Positive decreasing, positive decreasing, positive decreasing. There you go. Now, I have to calculate the moment. Point A, there's no change. Moment. 
how do I calculate the moment? The moment is going to be 2.2 plus this negative area. That negative area is this. This is Two point three first is negative, right? And this is two point three periodic, and the total here is five point six. Five point six, meaning this part has to be two point three, five point six, three point three point three point three and then I can apply my equations of the parabola because this part is gonna be what? What is gonna be this part? This part is going to be 2.3 times the base, and the base is 2. And this part is going to be one third of 2 times 3.3 .3 periodic. So I can do that if I want to. Let's do that, and let's say, okay, initially it's going to be 2.2, the value of the moment here, plus, or say minus, because it's going to be a negative area. And then this part is going to be. 2 times 2.3 plus this other part which is going to be 3.3 .3 periodic times 2 this is base and h times one third because this is the equation remember the equation here is one third of b times h one third of b times h and then when we solve this uh, we are going to get a value of moment equal at negative 4.6 kilonewton meter 4.6 negative so it crossed the line up to here negative 4.6 kilonewton meter this shape how is this shape positive or negative well it's negative it's there shape is negative of the the shape of the shear remember we always look at the shape of the shear to draw the moment so it's negative. Now, if I start running the sh shape from left to right, I see that the height is decreasing. So it's going to be negative decreasing. Negative decreasing is this. So these two points are going to be joined with that shape. Now we go to that point. What is that point? That point is point D. What do we have in point D? Point D for the shear. Point D for the shear. For the shear we have a negative value in the diagram, negative 2.3, and then I have this value of 1, which is negative, going in the same direction, and that's going to give us negative 3.3, .3. and that is a jump in the diagram, remember? because it's a concentrated force. So from here, we're going to have a jump, and this value is going to be negative 3.3. .3. And I know this should, go, this should go lower than this one, but this is not a scale. That's why I'm putting the numbers here. If you want to make it a scale and nicer, okay, then bring this line here. I'm doing this like if I'm working in an exam. I don't have time to do uh, neat stuff. And the moment, now, the moment is the same thing. Do I have any concentrated moment? Yes, we have. Remember, when we have concentrated moment, once again, if I have this, counterclockwise is positive. If I have this, clockwise is negative. What I have before first is negative 4.6 in the moment. And now I have this moment. This moment is coming in this direction. This direction is positive 15, because that's the value of the moment. And then that means that we're going to get a moment here of a value 10.3 10.3 .3 periodic that means it's a jump up to 10.3 10.3 in the diagram now we go to the E shear no load because you don't have any load here constant constant there you go constant moment the moment is going to be this value 
This is a negative area, so plus that negative area. This value is 3.3, and the base is 2. So then you have 10.3 minus 2 times 3.3, that's going to be 3.6. And because this is negative constant, it's going to be a straight line in this way. So this value is 3.6, somewhere here, or above, because this is 2. Point whatever here, 3.6, and I have to join that by straight line, like that. We are almost done. Now, we go to this part. Same thing happens here. I have to go up to the support. I can't go more than, more, more to the end because there is a concentrated load here. So for the shear, in the span EV, because at the point E there's no change. So I go to the span EV now, and forget about this, that's fictitious, I care about this. So then I have this value, which is negative 3.3 .3 periodic, and I find this area, which is a positive area, first of all, because the arrows are going up, it's positive, and then the value is, the height is two, and the base is 2. So basically I have negative 3.3 .3 plus 4, that is a value of 0 0.6. 0 0.6. That 0 0.6 is going to be positive here. 0 0.6 periodic. And because this is a constant, this is going to be a positive slope going in this direction. 0 0.6. Now for the moment, of course, I have to calculate this point once again, because this is where the shear is zero. This is going to be a local maximum or a local minimum here. This value is a negative area, so this is going to come low and this is going to go high. Now, let's calculate the point, just for the sake of calculating it, because I, I, I could come from this end now and come in this other direction if I wanted to, but I don't want to confuse you. I want to. I want you to calculate this. Well, apply what I just explained you in other video. I say this is 0 0.6, and this is 3.3. .3. Then you say this is x, and this is 2 minus x, and then you can calculate the value for x, and x is going to be equal 1.6. How do you calculate 1.6? Well, you can you can say that a 3.3 3 is up to x at 0 0.6 is at 2 minus x and solve for x. Or you can just say that 3.3 .3 plus this is 4. 4 is up to 2 as 3.3 .3 is up to x. Anyway, you're going to get, because remember what I said before, you, you can you can either put this high if you want to, you can move this to zero parallel, so this value is going to be 3.3, .3, and then you use this triangle if you want to, for calculating the x. This is 3.3, .3. so I can say that 4 is up to 2, as 3.3 .3 is up to x, and this is this. Or you can use the crossing triangles and use this. Anyway, you calculate x, this is 1.6, that means this is 0 0.3 then. Now I can calculate my moment here, and this point is going to be E prime. And then I say E, E prime. This is going to be 3.6 minus or plus that negative area. This is 1.6 periodic, and this is 3.3 .3 periodic. So it's going to be 3.6 plus negative 1.6 periodic times 3.3 .3 periodic divided by 2. And this is going to be a value of, let me see, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, 0.8. Zero point eight, and this shape is negative because it's negative. 
negative, it's floated below, and that shape is increasing, no, decreasing because the height is getting smaller, so it's negative decreasing, negative decreasing. negative decreasing is this one so that means that the 0 0.8 this is gonna come in this shape up to this point and this value is 0 0.8 periodic and now what do we do now we get that 0 0.8 for e prime b I get that 0 0.8 and I add this area 0 0.6 periodic times 0 0.3 periodic divided by 2 is this area, which is positive area, by the way, and that value is going to be uh, 1, right? I think it's 1. Yeah, that value is going to be, no, in this case, uh, yes, this is 1, because this is 0 0.3 squared. 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 0 0.6 divided by 2 0 .8, 8, 8, 8, 8. yeah that's 1 that value is going to be 1 and this shape uh, this shape is uh, positive increasing and positive increasing is this so this is going to just continue in the same way that it's like a U up to that point. And it has to be like a U because this is the same slope here. So we go to this point. Now we go to the point uh, B. We go to the point B. And at the point B for the shear, I had a value of 0 0.6 periodic and I find a reaction BY. My reaction BY was 2.6 periodic. So this is negative, meaning this value is going to be 2. So from here, it's going to jump down up to 2 here. And the moment, there is no change no change in moment because there's no concentrated moment and now I have the last part which is just this one which is VF and then you have a negative value of 2 for the shear you have negative 2 and you have the positive area this positive area of 2 times 1 which is 0 this is going to be a positive slope, this is going to go to zero, and this is the famous yes. There. And now for the moment, the moment of truth. Now we're here, positive one for the moment, positive one, and this area is a negative area, two times one, one minus 2 times 1 divided by 2 is 0, which is good. This area is negative, decreasing, negative, decreasing. In our circle, once again, please don't neglect infants, neglect dumb people instead. Negative decreasing is this. This is going to come to 0, and this is your well-deserved yes. So guys, another example for you, we started with integrals and we switched to areas, we can start with areas, switch it to integrals, we can start with sections, switch it to integrals, switch it to areas, we can, if we can do it completely in one method and you want to, you also can do it, it's uh, whatever you need and whatever is easier for you in that particular moment. So I hope that you like this one because I'm working hard to give you the most amount of solved problems that you can have so you don't have any excuse. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Have a good day. See you in class too.